What's up peeps, it's your boy Haniel back again at Relentless number 5 Taking a first look at something that's getting a lot of hype pretty quickly It's the Nike Tom Sash Mars Yard 2.0 For those not familiar with Tom Sachs, he's an artist out of America who's been doing NASA and space themed artwork for the last 30 years. You know, the guy goes in, he's made short films, you know, about crazy subjects like even on YouTube, if you search, you can find one that he's done on the most effective way to sweep a floor. It's three minutes long. Go check that out if you don't believe me. Right, back in 2012, he created a trainer with Nike that he felt you know, the scientists and technicians and NASA could wear, you know, on the moon and stuff like that. Um, basically, the Mars Yard was born. So they gave him the SFB outsole and um, he created the upper from scratch and basically created a new model. Now, when it originally dropped, there was only 200 pairs made, which gave it like immediate grail-like status. Like 100 were auctioned off and 100 were sold. And surprisingly, a lot of people wore their pairs because, you know, you only ever see a handful of these ever pop up on any website or on eBay. So that happened. But the one issue with the model was the materials on the upper were so brittle whenever the toe box would fold, you'd get crazy tears and rips in the uppers and they, you know, didn't really last that long. So fast forward to 2017 and he's linked back up with Nike to create the Mars Yard 2.0 which is basically a new updated version, a more robust version of the original. Now, the crazy thing about this is he, he's not really big on sneaker culture. So the, the process of picking up peers in these trainers has been a bit insane. So thank God we're in the UK because in America to get a pair of these, you literally had to catch a ferry to Governor Island, which is basically a military base. Then you had to take a shuttle bus, you had to do uh, watch a film for 37 minutes, do an obstacle course, only then could you get the opportunity to buy a pair of these crepes, it's insane. Um, thank God we didn't have to do that, luckily we were invited by Night Lab to go down, watch the short film and then pick up our pairs. This is something that you need to see in hand, on foot, any pictures you see will not give it justice because um, a lot of people when they first see it it's kind of like oh my god ugly shoe dead no hype around it that's great for me on the packaging they've done something a little different on this release they've taken your usual red nike box and tom Sachs has basically gone along and written a short message basically saying mars yard shoe 2.0 tom Sachs 2017 these shoes are only valid if worn and worn to death by you Poses need not apply, but well, I've already worn my pair, so I'm good. Um, on you know the side, it says Mars Yard Shoe 2.0, and he's got a little bit of doodling on there. Again, Mars Yard Shoe 2.0, and then there's a little sketch that you get underneath. You know, I don't know what that is, I'm not going to act like I know what it is, but it's a sketch nonetheless. And you've got a little sign up here that says Earth, nice little subtle touches, you know. Um, Definitely a box I'll be keeping. So on the upper, you've got suede going around the upper. You've got the mesh. You've got premium leather on the inside, ropes laces. You've got your red pull tab on the front and you've got this exposed foam on the tongue. And then you've got the red pull tab at the back, which is cross stitched to make sure it doesn't come off. Something different as well. They've put the sizing tags on the actual inner sole of this trainer. But um, you've also got like one inner sole showing, you know, our solar system and how to tie a clove hitch knot. On the other inner sole, you've got basically how many protons and neutrons it takes to make up plutonium. The Mars Yard also comes with a second set of inner soles, one basically breaking down the elemental compositions, you know, of the universe by mass. And it also breaks down the human elemental composition by mass, you know, this is really sciencey stuff, you know what I mean? Like Neil deGrasse Tyson, would love a pair of these, I think. Now, on the outsole, you know, it's just plain white and cream, but one thing with this trainer that I do have to stress, if you buy this, invest in a very good protector because this trainer is literally designed to pick up any marks, scuffs, dirt, you name it. It's literally made to be lived in. So that's the first thing that you need to really check on the, these, you know, if you, especially if you're paying resale on them, um, be aware. You know, it will pick up dirt like a magnet. 
As for the comfort on this trainer, it's true to size, light, very comfortable. Trust me, you won't even notice it's on, even though it looks quite clumpy. If you follow us on Instagram, at Crip Junkie, you would have seen a few days ago, we posted a picture showing um, a factory where, you know, you saw pieces of the Mars Yard 2.0 and it was believed that this was, you know, a factory making fakes. And you know anything that's got a decent resale, nine times out of 10, there's gonna be fakes to follow. So make sure you do the JIT checks and do your due diligence and don't get got out there on these. As for the release of these, it's been rumored for the 27th. Um, I believe End is getting them, Nightclub obviously, but uh, as to whether it be raffles or anything like that, I don't know. The sizes are going to be available from size 6 to size 12 from what I've seen and also f as far as numbers con are concerned, you know, I expect, you know, Fragment 1, Jordan 1 numbers, so like probably 1500 to 2000 on these in my opinion. Um, it's going to be a hard pickup. But if you want the crepe, go for the crepe. If you don't like the crepe, don't buy the crepe. You know, again, it's not it's not always about hype. It's about what you like and it's about what fits in your collection. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Do you think this is heat? Do you think it's hype? Do you think it's a great artistic trainer? Or do you think it's just ugly when you take away all the hype? Let us know. And don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned to all that crepe junkie goodness. And until next time, it's your boy. Peace. Hmm? What's the date? Why well, put 16, 16, 11, 16, 16? Because that's when he that's when he did it. Okay. Which is quite interesting actually, yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, it's not interesting. Sorry.